Hello, wonderful Emeritus College faculty team. Welcome to this edition of the Emeritus College faculty training, how to use my access. Let's first start by going over our training goals, what we're going to be looking at in my access, how to get and log into my access, first of all, how to access prompts for your course, how to get to a submitted essay prompt in my access, and finally, how to provide feedback to a submitted essay prompt in my access. Let's start the adventure by going to the My Access site, and here you can see that it is www.myaccess.com. Simple enough to remember, right? So we click on that, and this will take us to the My Access login page. Now looking here, you see a little box, Login to My Access. This is where you will enter your username and password. Your username is going to be your Brandman email. So whatever your email is, this will be your username. So if I'm instructor pond, it might be pond at brandman.edu. We'll be using a test one that's at emeritascollege.net, but again, remember yours will be your username at brandman.edu. Okay, the password is going to be whatever course you are teaching. So if I'm teaching LBSU 100, my password will be LBSU-100. It's important to remember that dash in your password. This is a generic password, so even if there's three instructors teaching LBSU 100, all three of them will have the password LBSU-100. Then you click Login, and once we click Login, you're going to be on a screen where they, you need to verify your identity to make sure you are who you really say you are. So click Yes, this information is correct. Once we click here, we're in the My Access Home screen, where you can view your students' progress, here, their overall progress of all the students, and you can also see your message center right here, where you will receive comments from your students. Now be sure to check and respond on your student inquiries often. Okay, this is how you log in. Now that we've learned how to log in, let's look at how to access your prompts. We're going to start by going up to Groups and Assignments. When you click Groups and Assignments, you'll see your course. Select it. Then click over here on Assignments. After clicking on Assignments, you will see a page that shows all the prompts that you will use in My Access throughout your course. If you go over to Options, you're going to see a little print symbol. If you click that, in another tab, it will open the actual prompt. So you can scroll down and see what the prompt is to get an idea of what you will be using throughout your course. Okay, that is how to access your prompts. Now it is very important to note here, you can see add prompt, but we do not want you to add, delete, or change any prompts. We will put in the prompts for you beforehand, so please do not deal with any of that as far as adding or deleting prompts. It will make your life easier as well, so that's good. Okay, now we're going to look at how to get to a submitted essay prompt. And we're going to do so by going up to student portfolios. So if you click Student Portfolios, here you can see all your students and their progress thus far. And the way to do that is by first selecting the group. You'll see your class and just yours, so you'll click that. For the date range, it's a general practice to select all dates. And then you click Go. So let's go. Here we go. Now here is the list of submitted essay prompts of all your students in your class that have submitted a prompt. You're going to notice under status different symbols. Now a green check mark means that a student has submitted an essay and that's what you're going to want to see. I've included some other symbols just so you know that if you do see any other symbols it means there's a problem or discrepancy with the essay and that you should investigate. You can also click on any symbol and you can see a key of the symbols to know what means what. You'll also notice next to the prompts there is an S1, here's S4, S3. Now this means that a student has submitted a prompt that many times. So for example, this is their first submission of this. With this student, this is their fourth submission on this prompt. So let's go ahead now and look at one of the prompts feedback. And you're going to do that by going over to scores and feedback and click on the pie chart. Now after you click on the pie chart, you're going to be in the My Tutor Feedback tab. Now here you can see a breakdown of how well your student did in the five different areas that My Access uses to grade. Going to the My Editor Feedback tab, 
This is the tab you will use to receive further clarification on their score and to see what exactly were the errors that they made on their assignment. So you scroll down and you'll notice the actual assignment is here. Now you'll see embedded comments within this submission. Now here you're going to see an in-depth analysis of the student's errors, plus you can read the student's essays with the My Access comments embedded, as I've mentioned. Now here you're going to want to make a note of any recurring errors so you can let the student know that they need to work on that particular thing. If the essay was non-scorable, this means that My Access couldn't grade it. And here in this tab, you can read through to find out why. Was it too short of an essay? And here, this one was not too short, but that could be something. Did the student only take two minutes to write the essay? Check the time up here. Once you have looked at the My Editor Feedback tab, you can now go to the Comments tab, and this is where you as the instructor will add your own comments. There are two types of comments. You can leave general and embedded. General comments are general global comments that you can leave about the essay as a whole. Embedded comments are a highlight of a part of the essay, and you can add an embedded comment. So you'll see some blue areas. This means that I embedded a comment, and I do that by highlighting a part of it. I click Add a Comment, then I type the comment, and you can go down and save the comment. That will make it blue, and they will know that there's an embedded comment in that part of the essay. For diagnostic essays, it is recommended that you leave general over embedded comments because my access already does this for you. The student now needs an idea of how to improve the writing in the future, which can be done by using the instructor adding general comments. Now, what's cool about this is when you leave a comment, the student will receive a message in his or her message center in their my access. At that time, the student can read and respond to your comments, and this exchange creates a kind of dialogue to help the student know how to improve their writing in the future. To find your messages, click on the Home tab. So now we're going back to the Home tab. And again, as I mentioned before, here you'll see the Message Center. And as you leave comments, you and the student will be able to communicate back and forth. And you will see those comments and that communication in the Message Center. OK, so that is a general overview of the different functionalities of My Access. So let's review and address some questions and answers. First, can I change my password? Yes, you can change your password if you would like. We recommend that you leave it, but if you prefer to have a password that only you know, you can do so. And the instructions for that are provided on the CII online with a training guide, which we will visit after this. Do I need to create a prompt? Again, you do not need to create any prompts. You don't even need to worry about it. We will take care of that for you and add the prompts beforehand, and you just need to know what they are and where they are. Do I need to provide feedback to students' papers? Yes, we highly encourage you to provide this feedback in the comments section as we just went over. Again, this is so that you can add your own comments and help the student know how to improve their writing. Who do I contact if I have a My Access issue? If you have any sort of My Access issue with anything related to these questions or anything else, you will email facultyquestions at emerituscollege.net. So again, as I mentioned, my Access Guides are available on the CII, which can be found here. It looks a little complicated, but it's just www.brandman.edu slash CII. And you will find these guides in the Emeritus tab under the My Access section. So let's go there, and you'll see we're in the Emeritus section up here in the CII, which is the Center for Instructional Innovation. And if you scroll down, you'll find the My Access section and all of the guides addressing everything that we just went over. OK, thank you everyone for coming to this training session. I hope you have learned something new about My Access. Now, I am excited for you to go teach your class and to use the My Access tool. Have a fantastic class.